in the MGT and GCC. He named it right. Muslim girls in training. Yes, sir. You were not grown up in the way of God. You were girls in the way of God. And you were training under the guiding light of a man of God into a new way of civilization. And that dealt with cooking, sewing, cleaning your house, how to care for your husband, how to rear your children, and how to act at home and abroad. A new knowledge, a new wisdom, a new understanding. And with it, Elijah Muhammad was actually reforming your whole mind. Who was he making? What was he making? He was making Maryam. He was making, you better listen to what I'm saying. Because Mary, the woman of yesterday, is only a picture of an ideal. But Miriam of the 19th surah of the Quran is the ideal woman from whose womb will come messianic saviors of the world. It's you, the nigger woman. The woman that's been spat on and cursed and abused and misused. It's you that God has chosen to bring forth saviors for the entire world. Take it or let it alone. But you got to make a change in your life. Mary. Holy Mary. Mother of God. Not mother of Allah. Allah is neither begotten, nor does he beget. But you can birth a mental giant, a God that has force and power. You can bring into the world one that can master the forces of nature. You can bring into the world, sisters, men that will stand on top of these men. Like the top of Mount Everest. You can do that, and you don't have to wait a hundred generations to do it. Sister, if you got an egg that's alive, I don't give a damn if you're 40 years old. If you got an egg that's alive, you can do it, but you got to stop where you are. And damn it, you got to help her to stop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't know what to do with a woman, leave her alone. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir.